Chris Rosser <laughs> invented a new kind of carbon fiber. A new kind of carbon fiber, Blunty, really? Have we not? Chris Rosser? What? Tell me yeah. more. All right. So basically, um, this, I, I, I'm going to say, I typically like inventions like this, where he's inventing something for, because he needed it. Mm -hmm. So what he was doing was basically designing his race frame. And when he mm -hmm. was going through his race frame, he was trying to figure out how to build his race frame with his V style, because, you know, in his AOS style um, design, there's a mm -hmm. V. So the ends yeah. hit together and then there's a flex he talks about and that gives it the stability, um, the strength and also the, the flexibility. Right. Yeah. So uh, instead, he realized, like, why don't instead of trying to make this V with carbon, why don't mm -hmm. I just change the layup so the V is inside the carbon? Mm -hmm. So essentially. Um, he created a new layup, which is um, zero degree for most of it. So most of the carbon is stacked the same direction. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's a, a middle sandwich. And the middle sandwich is essentially um, 45 degrees in either direction. And that mm -hmm. creates, that makes it so the middle can do that flexibility, but the top and bottom uh, maintain that stiffness. If you hit that, uh, the second video there. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. Hang on, let me go back. Yep. Yeah, I was looking for... Be, uh, the, I want, yeah. that's what I was looking for. I, I was, you yeah. I had the wrong video loaded. Well, people can talk that the first video that we were just looking at is Chris Rosser's just sort of tutorial on carbon fiber. And it's well worth it for anybody in FPV to learn more about how carbon fiber works. There are a lot of misconceptions and he clears them up, but go ahead, so go ahead, Blunty. Skip forward to about 345, somewhere in there. And then we can see him doing the comparison here. So if you look at his top arm there, that's on the quad, you mm -hmm. can see there's a sandwich in the center there. And that yes. center is that V'd carbon, but the top and bottom are still stiff, rigid, um, t traditional carbon. Mm -hmm. So um, basically by changing the layup, it takes a little bit more money. So it's going to be like 25% extra material cost, not like total cut cost, but material cost. Mm -hmm. um, but instead you'll gain um, this ability to flex similar to, a, you know, his V design. So huh. um, pretty cool, pretty cool concept. Uh, not a layup that's been used anywhere, at least for here. But he says, like in other things, like um, for some gold, like golf clubs, when they needed to make carbon fiber golf clubs with gold on them, they had to change the carbon layup so it would change the vibration of the gold uh, when you hit it. And um, yeah, so they just do custom carbon layups like this. Pretty cool. Yeah, uh, that's when when the the headline said Chris Rosser invents a new kind of carbon fiber. I I kind of squinted a little bit. It sounds like what's happened is he has understood i mean god forbid he understand the established engineering principles that apply to our problem as he yeah. does and he has brought them to fpv that's what he's really done and then he's gone above and beyond by setting up a supply chain for developing this for for manufacturing this material and here's the yes. beautiful thing he is not just using it on his quadcopter frame but he's making it available to any manufacturer anywhere who wants to buy it from him, which actually is kind of a smart move. Yeah, he said as well as yeah, yeah, he said if you want to buy it, it's two hundred a sheet. Um, if you want to get it cut somewhere, you can basically get it cut at CNC Madness right now. But if uh, other companies want to buy his carbon to cut, um, he's definitely willing to sell it to them, of course. And then um, he said basically it's twenty to twenty five percent extra cost right now. Um, but unfortunately, uh, you know that doesn't look like it's going to come down because like the economies of scale for the layup. Like are just not going to happen with FPV most likely, but yeah. um, you know he says basically it is because of like how much or how much is being used and produced. Um, so you know, at least right. from what he's told me and talking to him about it, he's not trying to mess you up on the price. It's just like the cost of production. no. It's just when you when you buy you know just off the shelf three K twill or Torre seven hundred, yeah. they've just got buckets and buckets of it, and so they can sell it much yeah. cheaper but when they do this custom layup just for him i think that's the big question with this like i'm willing to take chris's word that it's better because he seems pretty seems to know what he's doing the big question is will people be willing to pay 25 percent more yeah. and that's that's and manufacturer's is, cost right yeah, not retail just yeah and it is just the arms so like um you will just pay 25 percent extra for the arm cuts so i think it's mm. kind of it like washes out pretty well into total frame cut cost price at least yeah um, and uh, yeah, so like the top and bottom layers, you would still use normal like you would um, for the top and bottom of the frame and the rest of the pieces. But for the arms, you're going to use uh, this this carbon if you want to do so. I don't know. It's cool All right. that there's a nice, nice option. Um, yeah, we'll see how many people pick it up. Yeah. Hey, I should. I have a frame. I should tell Lumineer to pick it up. 
Yeah. Just try it out. I mean, he basically, yeah, that's what his, his thing. He's like, I just wanted to make this available for people if they want to use it. So, All right. Well, good guy, Chris Rosser. <laughs> he, I will say, just, just to present the whole story, I don't think he's actually releasing the specs of the layup. I'm sure you could reverse engineer the layup by breaking the carbon apart if you needed yeah. to. Some it is just carbon that. fiber. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is his design for now. So. All right. 